is the first study going from UCLA on the space station. And also, this is the first study in which we have already made predictions numerically. This is UCLA Newsweek. In this edition, UCLA blasts off. This is the first study going from UCLA on the space station. And in brief, an extraordinary achievement. Standing out in a crowd, Obama's UCLA team and Kareem Skyhook Foundation scores education points. Distinguished professor of mechanical and aerospace engineering V.J. Deer discusses boiling water in near-zero gravity. In the first UCLA-led experiment to the International Space Station, scheduled for liftoff February 24, 2011. Uh, we are working on uh, developing a fundamental understanding of boiling heat transfer under microgravity conditions. Deer's is the first study in which mathematical predictions about the behavior of bubbles in space have been made. The space station experiment will be remotely conducted and monitored in real time from a NASA land lab in Ohio. If a bubble grows to about three millimeters in size at Earth's normal gravity, in the space station we expect that bubble to grow almost to 30 centimeters in size. Once the water reaches boiling temperature, all of the heat energy from the burner's flame is carried away from the surface by bubbles. Due to this bubble heat transference, the heated surface maintains a near constant temperature, even while receiving intense heat from the burners. The boiling per se is a very efficient mode of heat removal or heat transfer, so we could make heat exchangers quite compact, and that compact heat, heat exchangers mean lightweight and smaller in size. This in turn will yield smaller and lighter devices in spacecraft. Much of the cost of putting materials and devices into space has to do with their weight. As weight decreases, the cost of putting materials into space will also decrease, giving rise to more materials and spacecraft going deeper into space for longer periods of time. And now we'll look at more developments out of Westwood. Professor Omar Yagi has been ranked number two among the world's top chemists. Thomson Reuters rates the scientists on the impact of their published research. Known as the inventor of reticular chemistry, Yagi's scientific papers have been cited by his peers nearly 20,000 times in the past decade. It may seem like a paradox, but being part of a crowd helps bring out what makes one unique. UCLA life scientists studied alarm calls by rodents in social groups of varying sizes. They found that the larger the group, the more distinct the animal's voice became. The findings may help explain a key result of human evolution, why everybody's different. The Obama administration has tapped 10 UCLA faculty members to serve on presidential commissions and in other key posts. The appointees include Chancellor Emeritus Albert Carnesale, who serves on the Blue Ribbon Commission on America's Nuclear Future. The newest representative is Dr. Linda Rosenstock, Dean of the UCLA School of Public Health. And Bruin basketball legend Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has been touring high schools to talk about his new documentary on the best team you've never heard of, the Harlem Rens. The film helps introduce students to the Harlem Renaissance, a cultural movement from the 1920s and 1930s. Abdul-Jabbar's Skyhook Foundation developed a study guide with support from UCLA. For more on these and other stories, visit newsroom.ucla.edu and follow us on Twitter at UCLA Broadcast.